Hey everyone, I'm here with Laura Haas, and Laura, welcome. What's the area of research that you're focusing on? Uh, I'm a database researcher from way back. Uh, I uh, mostly look at how to get diverse types of information together, get it prepared for data scientists to go get some information about, out of. So what types of research projects are you currently involved in? Well, my, my new gig is I am a dean, so I'm not doing as much research directly as I used to. Um, but one of the things that I'm most interested in right now is um, what, they're what we're calling computing for the common good. Hmm. Uh, so how can we make systems that not only can be used for good purposes, which we hope they will, you know, cure disease and all the rest of that, uh, but how can we make systems that start to be good, that ha actually embed some of the virtues that hmm. we would think about as humans, so they're fair, um, they don't discriminate in ways you don't want them to discriminate, uh, they run correctly, they're helpful, they're a pleasure to interact with. There's a lot of different characteristics that might come together to make a good system. But that's kind of what I found that my faculty at UMass are really interested in, and so that's what we're trying to encourage and, and work through. Is there a specific uh, project with the faculty that, that describes just that in terms of uh, computing for good? Well, so one that's um, close to my heart because it's also in my area is one of my um, female faculty, Alexandra Melieu, uh, has been working with others, her um, a colleague from software engineering and others, to see if uh, they can look at data um, and database systems and make a database system that can tell you whether your data is biased uh, hmm. and help you to avoid those sorts of mistakes that um, we've had a lot of news stories about recently where, you know, maybe a black blacks couldn't qualify for a certain service because there was discrimination by zip codes um, or uh, age discrimination or other sorts of things um, where you can sort of tell it, these are the things I'm worried about, and it will check your data for you and tell you whether you're going to have a fair sample of the data and be able to answer questions or make decisions in a fair manner. How do you feel about attending the Microsoft uh, Research Faculty Summit, and uh, what have you learned? Cool. Um, I've been learning a lot. Uh, I really, I, everybody knows about Azure, but I learned a lot about what Azure can do, and I had no idea about the explosive growth that we've seen. Um, I've enjoyed hearing about some of the resources that, I, that Microsoft is putting in open source. Um, I've sent uh, notes to my faculty about, for example, the entrepreneurship panel yesterday, uh, which was really um, great for them. We're trying to encourage more entrepreneurship amongst our faculty and students, and so I sent a lot of people notes going, you know, go watch this, right? Um, so, yeah, so it's just been a great uh, couple of days, really, really educational. So, Laura, what's one of the key pieces of research that you see coming uh, that will drive disruption in the next five to 10 years as it pertains to systems? So, I'm gonna go back to this whole thing about good systems. I don't, I think that's just starting, we're hearing the fat phrase, which I hate, you know, fair, <laughs> accountable, transparent. We're calling it equate. The idea that people will start paying as much attention to, um, what the how the systems work so that they they have some principles to them and and there's a better chance that we will avoid the sorts of mistakes that um, people are getting uh, dinged for um, so you know just as a for instance we talk a lot about intelligent systems mm -hmm. I want to hear us talking much more about ethical systems right wow. so. yeah. All right, well, Laura, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Great talking to you.